Hi guys, welcome back for another session of LiDAR for Metal Detectorists. At this time we're going to be looking at maps, and specifically old OS maps. Um, if you're in the UK, uh, there are a few services out there, um, specifically from the National Library of Scotland, who provide some really amazing um, digital seamless layers of OS maps, which a lot of us have used um, to find uh, or track down old features in areas of our permissions, perhaps, or just as general interest. Um, however, sometimes it's really handy to get those maps into your workspace here. Now, you might have watched a couple of other videos, and there are a few ways to do it. And the most common way is to take an image or a screenshot of a map, um, let's say, and you can geo-reference that screenshot, that static image, into the uh, seamless map you have here in QGIS. So essentially it'll be a layer stuck over the top and you match points on the map. So you might go, okay, this little uh, pathway here on that corner, I'll click there and then you'll click the corresponding part on the image. But it's a time consuming process and you don't necessarily have to do that. If you're just looking to confirm um, quickly what uh, something might be on a map, there is a better way. Uh, and not a lot of people know this, but the National Library of Scotland, NLS, who we've, like I said before, we've probably all used their side-by-side -side viewer at one time or another, they actually provide a free API. Um, uh, you can see it here, uh, and it's the NLS Tile Server API. Now, it's, oops, it's not the best maps from them, uh, but they're still useful in the sense that they're going to give you the broad idea. Um, it's just the one inch maps, uh, 1933 edition, which is one of the one at the poorer end, but it's still useful. And to get that into QGIS, it's pretty simple. Uh, all you need to do is in your browser window over here, you've got the XYZ tiles and you just right click that and then click new connection. Now call it whatever you want. I'm going to put mine as uh, NLS test and you'll see it pretty much tells you what you've got to do here. So URL is an example.com forward slash Z and curly brackets, X and curly brackets and Y and curly brackets. And what that's doing, that's telling um, when, when it's polling on the API, it's, it's pinging the API there. It's saying, OK, we want this zoom level, this X coordinate, this Y coordinate to get the specific tile that we're after. So what do you need to pop in there? Well, it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll make sure this um, is in the description so you can grab it. And once you've popped that in, you just press OK. Now, under the XYZ tiles, you'll get an, a new um, service popped in there, whatever you've named it, in my case, NLS test. And I'm just going to drag that in over the top of the Google satellite layer. And there we go. There's our, our one inch map straight away lay it in it'll render up um and obviously scroll with you whatever you want it's you don't have to geo reference it it's a really quick fix to get um important information into a map so you can cross reference stuff very quickly but what's even better about it is you can actually um blend it you can play with it like you can with google satellite like we covered off in the last video Say I wanted to layer this over the LiDAR, we can absolutely do that. Um, changing the blending mode, straight away it's over the top. I'm, I might just brighten that up a little bit so it's not so uh, not so in your face. And you can sort of work your way around the map, um, essentially ticking off things that you perhaps aren't sure of, or you can now associate features of the map directly with the OS map, if that makes sense. Yes, it's not the best map, but they do have subscription services as well. They are expensive, but it, there are other options. This is a great option for free. I mean, I think anything for free is normally a good idea. Um, but for example, if I drag over this one here, which I can't give you the details for, guys, sorry, but you can see I've got one of the six inch maps um, and we're down to a much more accurate level. Um, so in terms of research, it's, it's a great thing to be able to do and again just like the uh, the test we just produced we can mark it up and we've got all the features marked out as we move across the map and we can match up anomalies in the lidar with potentially things on that map
But georeferencing still has its place. This is really handy for quick uh, and dirty research. Um, however, in the next one, we will cover off georeferencing because quite often I'll use things like Tive maps, uh, maps of all the fields of a, a manor or something like that uh, to better understand um, what's happening. So we'll go through georeferencing maps and uh, we'll catch you back here soon for the next video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll have more for you very soon.